Hello everyone and welcome to another how-to session. And this really we're talking about like how to be a great leader. And by leader, I'm speaking about people who are either in positions of power, either politically or who are leading organizations or who are um, leading a company. Um, and this is, um, it's, it's more like what I have gone through, the experiences I've learned as I have also been leading people, but also what I have observed from people who I look up to who have been in, in leadership roles, big and small. And obviously I want to credit and, and I want to thank uh, my former boss, Victor Malay, who was such an inspiration to me on what leadership is and, and, and helped me grow into becoming a leader. I am obviously learning every day, but He's one of the people that has really mentored me into becoming a leader that I would want other people to be. Some of the values he embodied were some of the values that I aspire to be as well. To be a great leader, you have to lead by example. And this basically means that um, if you want the people who look up to you to stop uh, doing certain things, maybe they are bullying other people or they are upsetting or causing a strife in an organization or within your team then you as a leader have to you know step up and maybe look within yourself and see okay am i also unconsciously doing the same and what can i do to stop this cycle or break this cycle and make this a healthy uh, atmosphere for my team my teammates to work in and then the other tip i will share with you is inspire those that you lead to be better by like offering mentorship so basically inspire those who you are leading to be better versions of themselves and you can do this by like offering mentorships to them let's say you've spotted this one person who you think could go places or has potential then you could offer to mentor them and be like hey would you mind me um giving you some tips on how to improve or like uh self-help books and stuff like that that really does go a long way in leadership and shows your team or the people who look up to you that you really care about them encourage personal and professional growth for yourself as a leader and also for those that you lead and you can do this by um, recommending books that's like one of the things that I think has really helped me discover myself improve on myself and aspire to be better like the a better version of myself because I read books of um, I, I actually read like autobiographies of famous people and people I look up to and it makes me reflect on my life and figure out okay um, if I want to be this type of person, I shouldn't be doing this and maybe I should switch up or change my behavior, my response and reactions towards people um, and, and just work on my inner self and understanding um, what the, underst basically understanding myself, what have these people in the past done? what are the mistakes that they made so that i don't have to repeat them and there's like a famous quote that talks about um you learn someone else will make a mistake so you can learn from it and don't have to repeat the whole cycle be honest and upfront with the people you lead i think for me this is one of the values that i i cling to so much like i totally stand by this thing of being honest because i just believe that there is no truth hidden under the sun there's and and everything like usually comes out whether it's today or tomorrow or like 10 years from now people are going to know about this one thing that you hid from them so like it's always better to practice the honesty so that you don't have to lie like don't put yourself in a position where you're lying to your teammates or lying to people who you are leading just because what you want to get ahead of the game or you want to preserve your reputation and I kind of like understand why people would want to do that but what does that do to your soul what does that do to 
your mental well-being how does that help you grow and be the person you want to be and i i just like i think the only way that you can really be the best version of yourself and be a great leader and someone that people look up to and be like yeah she or he is really um leading us with uh, uh dignity and what's that word um not credibility but when you're leading people with integrity is when you lead with honesty and transparency and listen more than you speak and really i know like this is something so hard for people who are in leadership or leadership positions or positions of power is that they always want to speak and don't want to listen like they want their point to be heard and sometimes like i also catch myself a lot of the times i catch myself in that position of yes i am burning with this desire to speak and have my voice heard but what about the voices of those who elected you what about the voices of those who you're, you're leading what about your teammates voices i mean you can't lead by just talking all the time and not really paying attention to what they're saying it could be a concern it could be a proposal it could be like a way to get your company out of like whatever uh problem you are you're facing at that moment it could be a solution for example and you not paying attention to them will just show them that you're arrogant and you don't care what they say and if you want to be that kind of leader really i mean it's up to you but if you want to be the kind of leader that people respect and value and trust and um appreciate then it's always good like to listen I mean you don't have to be the one saying things all the time you just you can have like uh just take time to just shut your mouth and listen to what people are telling you more than you want to speak and you never know you could learn a thing or two you pro you probably will learn much more than you thought you could you would accept responsibility when you're wrong like don't try to shift the blame to someone else if you're in a precarious especially when you're in a precarious position and you're like oh god she's going to take the fall for this and i i don't have to be the one to take the fall for it because i didn't do anything wrong but then maybe you did something wrong maybe you were an enabler maybe you the mere fact of you ignoring certain things maybe also put you in that position but the point really is not trying to shift the blame and saying oh you're perfect and just because you want people to see that you're perfect or your reputation is clean um like it's more like your self-preservation doesn't help you doesn't help you be a great leader great leaders always always take responsibility when they're wrong but they sometimes fall on the sword because they know that the better person in them is trying to show an example to the rest of the other people on how to react or respond to a situation if they were in those shoes if they were in that position how would they respond and this also builds a community of people who actually take responsibility and not people who try to shun it away and expect other people to be the ones to blame without taking responsibility for their part in letting that happen great leaders foster uh, an atmosphere of productivity creativity and calm this is like tied to learning how are you like learning and also listening how are you helping your teammates grow professionally personally and how are you helping them be productive in their work are you um overworking them are you are you using um demeaning language are you making them feel less than they are are you doing things that just make them feel uncomfortable and not able to like focus on their work or give the very best and so great leaders are people who like look at a situation where the teams are um the atmosphere and try to make it better which is either giving um giving them time to be with their families for example or um speaking to their teams and asking them hey what could I, what can i do to make your work easier for you to be more creative or for you to be happy and even though leaders aren't there to make 
the people who they serve happy well some are i will take that back some are like political leaders are there to um fulfill on their promises and to pass policies that serve the community not serving them but that serve the community but other types of leaders like corporate leaders for example are not obligated to make you feel happy however leaders who have who have um, experienced the most amount of satisfaction like customer satisfaction and um, staff satisfaction good ratings are those who have listened and made created an atmosphere that makes their teams feel at home and feel like they're part of a family and not just another number you know so i mean that's really important it's and it all really boils down to what kind of leader do you want to be do you want to be an average leader or do you want to be a leader that will be remembered for the good stuff and that's like really what it boils down to be humble and you know like i know humility is one of the hardest traits to maintain it's not easy especially in a world where people are telling you you have to speak up or um you can't let them talk back at you like that and things like that like be be assertive is what is a word they use i mean like while it's okay to be assertive yes it's sometimes it's sometimes actually more than not in my experience better to be humble like leading with humility for me is one of the ways to one of the other ways to get your teams and people to trust you and want to work with you because no one wants to work with someone who is constantly berating them or um self-defend being <laughs> the word would be um you're berating someone and you're i'm trying to find a word here berating them and uh deflecting deflecting would be a good like like um uh god what's the word when you're berating someone and self oh yeah uh, when you're berating them and being self-defensive like you it's tied back like to always throwing the blame at someone else and not taking responsibility so basically like a, a good leader leads with humility because you know you've been put there especially political leaders i mean this is like really important you've been put there in you've been elected to be there and it doesn't serve purpose it doesn't serve purpose to the people you're leading if you are too assertive too aggressive too um arrogant don't listen try to always have the last word try to always appear to be correct uh basically those are all traits that you don't really want to foster as a leader you want to be that person who listens to people practices humility and humility doesn't mean conceding or uh, letting people step down on you it just means being kind and being polite to the other person and not like lashing out at them but responding with politeness responding with integrity responding with facts and saying okay if this is how you feel about the situation then so be it but this is how i feel about it however i respect your feelings on the matter and just leaving it like that and not encouraging the other person to come back attacking you obviously the other thing which i've already talked about is being kind and being kind also ties back to helping those who are struggling like don't look at someone who's struggling in your team or who's struggling in whatever you're leading and and gloat or be like serves you right um like help them to be better or provide them resources to help them overcome their situations their tough situations or whatever it is they're going through and also it means um, rewarding those who are actually doing a good job because a lot of times people who are doing good jobs are taken for granted so if you're the kind of person when you're in that position it's always good to reward um good work hard work and loyalty people who are loyal to a the company or who are 
really working and helping you achieve the goals that you're trying to achieve and this also it 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 also fosters productivity because people will be like oh i didn't know you could get rewarded for you know working this hard you know and and that's something that i guess isn't it's practice but not practice enough and i would really encourage people to do that and then so the last thing is lead with love and this is like my favorite of all because it encompasses everything if you think about it um and it doesn't mean it, it means like having the best interest of your team at heart like what what's best for my team is best for me and my business or what's best for the people i serve is best for my community is best for my country that kind of um that kind of leadership is what we call leading with love and it's also about being considerate to situations if if one of your teammates or one of the people working for you is going through a, a, a family loss or family issues and they need time off, that's what leading with love means. It means being considerate to them and like giving them time off to go spend with their family or deal with whatever they're dealing with. Uh, sticking to your values, like working hard, um, being persistent and being consistent. What are your values as a leader? And how do you manifest them? How do you practice them in your leadership? And so that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I also want to remind you that we will be hosting Manal Bidar next week on Monday in an interview where we'll be discussing with her, her inspirations, aspirations. And I hope that you come and tune in. Also, don't forget to subscribe below to our channel. Uh, so that you don't miss the latest updates and videos. See you on Monday.